what's going on guys i want to do a little bit of a different style video today just want to kind of introduce myself so i'm an hva cr tech in texas and i want to talk a little bit about the opportunities in hvac and refrigeration so i've been doing this um account trade school about four years now and Previously, I was on a more traditional educational path in college. I was pursuing physical therapy. Um, but I decided to look into the trades and I picked HVAC specifically. And it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. I can't say enough good things about it. But there are some things that's pretty radically different about um, I would say the trade as a whole, but I think this especially applies to HVAC and refrigeration. Um, biggest difference, I would say, is the mindset shift that you need to have if you're, especially if you're coming from any type of, uh, you know, conventional job in an office or going through college, you know, you're going to have to figure out how to teach yourself the vast vast majority of what you need to know and if you want to be good at this that's um, a skill you're gonna to have to master the reality is um, and I don't mean to be negative but trade schools and company training is just it's it's not nearly enough and it's not necessarily the fault of um, of companies it, it, there's just too much that we have to know it's the bottom line it, technology is moving so fast um, that we're just always two steps behind when it comes to training and then uh, when you look at tools it's the same way so you have to be very self-motivated to teach yourself YouTube has proven to be uh my secret weapon I would say specifically and uh, it may sound bad but I found the best sources anywhere on YouTube um, including trade schools manufacturer trainings um, you know classes at supply houses and uh, trains provided by companies so that's just something to be aware of uh, if you are considering going into uh, the, any trade, I would say, especially again, HVAC or refrigeration, though. Um, but again, I absolutely love it. It's, you know, you're always learning stuff, you're always getting to play with cool toys, you know, new, uh, new tools and work on different kinds of equipment, lots of electronics, lots of controls, uh, especially more and more moving forward is, is a really big thing we're seeing a lot of, you know, uh, flame-free pipe fitting is a big one too. But there's tons and tons of stuff to learn and there's just, you know, there's just not enough hours in the day for companies to teach techs and apprentices what you need to know. So, but, uh, you know, with all that being said, there's lots of opportunity in this trade. And uh, anyone who, especially I would say, you know, enjoyed athletics, high school likes working out, uh, you know, like work on your car, uh, you like working outside, like, you know, you don't mind working in the elements, I would highly recommend looking into HVAC refrigeration. Of course, I'm biased when it comes to, you know, that as far as the trades go, but um, I, again, I've uh, I found a lot of success just being able to teach myself through outlets like YouTube. Uh, the number one source I found specifically um, is HVAC school. And the website's actually hvacrschool.com. I've consistently seen the 
best training being provided from them, whether it's, you know, theory through just podcasts or, you know, uh, some practical stuff through podcasts, YouTube videos. They have their symposium classes every year in Claremont, Florida. Um, I actually do go to those. Um, I attend those. So th those are specifically going to be the best classes you're going to see anywhere all year. They're absolutely fantastic. And um, this year they actually have had their virtual tickets that you can get for 22 bucks. So you can actually buy that right now and go back and watch all the classes because they recorded them online. But, um, but uh, yeah, I can't say enough good things about this industry. I, I you know, once I started, I've never looked back. It's, uh, it's been really good to me and I found a lot of success, just especially again, being able to really figure out how to find good sources and, and teach myself things. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it can be stressful when you're talking about service calls or something's broke and it's gotta get fixed and it's gotta get fixed fast. But, um, one thing I've also found is that good companies and uh, a lot of manufacturers and supply houses, that they have great support for, you know, helping give you solutions, give you what you need to troubleshoot, to, you know, get the parts you need, et cetera. Um, but uh, a lot of times, like right now, in the winter, it's, it's pretty relaxed. We're keeping busy. Um, I do work on the commercial, commercial side of the industry. So we keep pretty busy year round, but um, we do have a little bit more of a lull in the winter time. So, um, but you know, another thing to keep in mind if you're looking to go in the industry is there's lots of overtime, especially in the summer. So um, that's pretty much mandatory, especially when you're new, you just kind of got to be aware of that going in. There's, you know, there's plenty of opportunity, there's plenty of money to be made. My goal with this channel is going to be to teach as much as I can and hopefully help prevent y'all from making some of the same mistakes that I've made. But if y'all ever have any questions about anything, feel free to PM me or leave a message in the comments. And, you know, I'll do the best I can to leave links to tools and whatnot, resources like HVAC school down in the description, but uh, yeah, welcome to the channel.